Kia ora tātou, katoto. Late last night, the Ministry of Health in New Zealand advised that a flight that left Rarotonga last Monday on the 7th of February is a place of interest after a passenger on that flight tested positive for the Omicron variant of COVID-19 after arriving back in New Zealand. The person's partner tested negative and three friends travelling with them have yet to be tested. It is likely that the person who tested positive was infectious while here and further likely that the virus is in our community. It may be there is silent transmission where our high vaccination rate is so protective that people could get COVID, but so mildly that they do not realize they have it. We have prepared for this and we will follow the procedures and processes to deal with this. The fact that we have a high percentage of our people vaccinated will give us substantial protection from serious illness. The infected person was here for eight days, is fully vaccinated, and first developed symptoms in the early hours of Monday the 7th of February, the day they departed Rarotonga. The previous Friday the 4th of February, they tagged into Trader Jack's at 11.30 p.m. and then also at 12.42 a.m. on the Saturday morning, they tagged into rehab. Now, we do not need everyone who was at either of those places around those times to come forward for testing. But if you have developed flu-like symptoms like headaches or sore, scratchy throat, fever or body aches, you should come to the drive-through testing station at the Tupapa Public Health Building today and get tested. These are considered to be the most common symptoms that people are experiencing with Omicron. If you have any questions or concerns, please call 56180 or 57. 486. These numbers will be answered 24-7. Our borders will remain open with the current protocols and precautions in place. Timaraiora may put out in place additional public health protocols, and if they do, these will be communicated directly to you, the public. We can also expect existing regulations and protocols to be actively enforced over the coming days. Timaraiora has begun the contact tracing process and testing of close contacts, that is, people who were working at venues visited by the case and who are considered to be close contacts. But most of all, we need to stay calm, wear our masks, maintain our physical distancing, and practice our good hygiene practices. We will keep you advised with daily updates on any progress. Kia ora tātou katoa e kia manuia.